Well, hello there and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing Brigandine Grand Edition. This is episode 12 of our campaign as New Almikia, and I, honestly, I, it's been so long since I played this uh, over the course of the day that I forgot what the heck I'm even attacking. Alright, we're gonna say the same thing over and again. That's gonna be boring. Keep the battle to Lord and Victory. Yeah, your country's being wiped out right now, I hate to tell you. Alright, Jerry on squad axe. He's got a small squad, but he's got two very powerful him friends. He's also my air force. He can move as far forward as he wants. I think I'm gonna have him move down here instead. Because he can get fluffy one down here. Fluffy two down here. And fluffy three. Well, fluffy and a half to the wings. I use the term the wings a lot. It's really like supposed to be descended from the uh days of cavalry in medieval combat. The wings are where your cavalry would be. Uh, I'm not going to get a dragon down there anytime soon, but I'd like to keep the center open for that possibility. A couple of lizard men and a gin on the wings here, my little uh, cannon. He's going to wait. I'm going to just have to line up in advance step by step. Fucking useless. Hey, I want to try and do something. Oh, missed. Sorry, that's the way that thing works. I don't have nearly as many pixies as I used to, do I? I was a different army. So I want to advance, but not too far. Where are they? Actually, I actually do want to advance pretty far. So I guess if I had to offer one suggestion for how this game could be better, it would be less of this tedious, slow advance. Yeah, we're not going to do anything. We're going to sit here. We're going to wait. That'll end well. And it's really needs to stop his movement abilities. I think I can actually move. Keeping my man in formation is probably the best strategy I've got. Now we'll see if they actually have their third army come in. Really stupid if he did. Just kind of hoping he'd be stupid. Alright. 
Oh, I can't reach there. That's a shame. Stupid forest. That's a disadvantage. Alright. If he bites, which he did, he's gonna get first attacks in, and that critical did not help. Neither did slowing his ass down. Uh, at least he's awake again. Harden. Smart. I'm going to wrap around him so painfully it's going to leave him scarred for life. Congratulations, you're hurting one of my little creatures. My weakest little creatures. I might even kill it. They did kill it. Congratulations. Oh, he got out of the way of being acid attacked. He's so... Look at this. Look at where Brusam is, or whatever his name is. I can't think of his name. Yeah, shoot the Weaver. Great plan. He used the Pixie to block. That was actually kind of clever. So, um, look where he is right now. Totally exposed. Absolutely and totally exposed. I don't want to have my prince charge into battle. Some of these creatures are just so slow, I can't use them. I know I probably could have casted Harden on that dragon. Probably should have even. Oh, come on! Well, he got the kill. Good for him. Meanwhile, Jerryanth is going to just tee off against this little guy. 176. Hunter shot. Now I'm killing this to free up room. Ah, oh, brother. You missed. You missed. Really? I have 292. This is going to cost 180. Focus on healing.
six, twelve, it's close to two, three heals. I'm using this early. Probably too early. Womp womp. But what I don't want is I don't want this guy to die mid unit. So even if he's only down 69 hit points, it's worth the investment. Time for your dangerous mission here. Okay, go after a bit, Cole. Fine by me. That was genius. Absolutely genius. Venom is gonna hurt. Not as badly as Curse would, but it's, it's not good. Okay. Wake the dragon up, thank you. Uh, are you gonna run? No, you're gonna actually punch a dragon. And dizzy it. That's three out of three, man. Come on, game. Uh, to be fair, I'm dodging like everything. I've opened up a gap in his offensive line. She charged in to attack- wow. I'll say this, they're brave. Now watch it get turned to stone. Oh god. 73, that was a critical at 73. Level 2. Really want that dragon dead, huh? Should I focus on something I can kill? Or doing damage to rune knights? Brave. Level 5 versus level 13. Not a good plan. I have 176 magic. I can heal or I can bolt. 91 for bolt, 65, so. It's one and a half. So I get one bolt, one heal, basically, is what I get. If that's the case, let me destroy a level 6 creature. Should be worth some XP. Yeah. I think they're about to realize they made a tremendous mistake in this battle. Namely, not running. We're gonna try this again. If this spell just doesn't work on Rune Knights, I'd like to know. By the way, leave a comment and be like, yo, this doesn't work on Rune Knights. Because it seems to never work, and it's just a waste of magic.
Alright, Garyant Squad, how do I want to do this? You know what? It's gonna hit three mobs, including a fucking imp. Sure, we'll do it. Well, Pixie's down. Yep. And you can tell I'm leaving room for that Mandrake to creep in and get a shot in if it's still going on at that point. Poor Slash. Hit her hard. I want to heal this little guy because, I mean, if he's leveling up at some point soon, I might need him. Your job, little guy. I know you're not going to love this, but I got to put you in the battle, man. Yep, that's the way. Is he going to do 88 damage? Uh, no? Nope, she's got 9 hit points left. But guess what? I can use Divine Ray. Blast her right out of the atmosphere. And that way he gets the XPs for finishing this thing off. My defeat will not change the war's outcome. Yeah, it's pretty much not going to matter anyway. You gotta hit the damn thing. Literally damn. Better run. And that's it, but in a battle with only losing one creature. So that's what, 35 room cost I have to replace? That's not bad. So send it on, we have won. Norgard invades Cardiff. We knew they would. We knew they'd be coming. But we'll be taking them on. When will we be taking them on? In the next episode. So I want to thank you all for joining me. And as always on this channel. La Paz.